Well, for years, it's been one of San Diego's most forgotten oceanfront communities. But one South Bay city is on its way to changing that, starting with a new posh hotel. KUSI's Sasha Fu has this special report. This is Pier South, the newest luxury hotel in San Diego County and one of the few hotels in California that actually sits on the beach. So you're sitting here on your private balcony overlooking the sand, the gulls and the waves, and it feels like Hawaii or the Caribbean. You might have to pinch yourself though when you realize, no, this is Imperial Beach. Yes, that Imperial Beach, the sleepy beach town best known for surf, sandcastles and a loose, unpretentious vibe. But I think our motto of being classic Southern California, I think that is our image. We want to keep that classic Southern California beach city mentality here. But now the sleepy city is waking up. The 78-room boutique hotel being promoted and marketed by Marriott is luring more visitors to IB. Prices at Pier South begin at just over $200 a night. There's a pool that opens out to the sand, spa services with massage, and a beachfront restaurant called C180, named for the view. It's run by the Cone Restaurant Group. I think you'll see more revitalization happening over the next five years. Sales and marketing director Karen Martin says the hotel is giving IB an image boost. And people are kind of intrigued. People are intrigued on what's going on in Imperial Beach. I think it's a renaissance, and it's a rediscovery of what we are here. Whatever you call it, renaissance, renewal, or economic reboot, the mayor of Imperial Beach, Jim Johnny, says there's more changes in store. He showed us the site of a new shopping center that will be going up on Palm Avenue. And they promised to bring us a really good mix of new tenants to Imperial Beach. A local developer of the Sudbury Group sees potential here, and Mayor Johnny thinks more investment will follow. And I think that that's what we're feeling right now, a lot more people interested in what they could do for Imperial Beach, and that's what we're looking for. In another part of the city, just off the Bayshore Bikeway, there are plans to turn these two warehouses into a small commercial complex that could include a bike store, a coffee shop, maybe a bookstore or art gallery. Yeah, there's some good disposable income here in this town that just doesn't have a lot of options, so it's nice to see some options coming. Residents like John right, Oliphant well. are applauding the changes. Well, I think it had that little tag of a lot of crime and maybe sketchy might be a word. Now I think this is some place you want to go to IB. The excitement of a luxury hotel or a brand new shopping center may enhance the city's appeal. But the mayor says the essence of his South Coast city will always remain the same. We're not aspiring to be anything but Imperial Beach. We like Imperial Beach. There are some inherent limitations on how much Imperial Beach can grow. The mayor says, with the exception of Palm Avenue and Seacoast Drive, most of the city is zoned residential. As for the city's newest hotel, business there seems to be brisk. Weekends at the hotel are selling out. In the newsroom, Sasha Fu, KUSI News.